Spring is here, which means a lot of rainy days. If you want to ride in the rain or need to ride in the rain, how do you do it? I ride to work in the rain or shine day or night. I've only been riding since November of 2023, but in that time, I've put 9,000 miles on my bike, no matter what the weather. Also in this video, I'm trying out my Cardo's recording feature, so let me know what you think of the audio. This is not a sponsored video. The first 15 minutes of rainfall is the most dangerous. Because uh, at that point, the roads are still dirty. There's still lots of oil on the road. And that fir first 15 minutes brings all that stuff to the surface. And the road becomes very slick in that first 15 minutes. After that 15 minutes, a bit longer if you want to, uh, the road becomes much cleaner. And uh, you'll have a much, much better time. So if you need to ride in the rain, the first thing that you want to do is check your tire pressure. I know that sounds boring and annoying. On a motorcycle, the tire pressure is very, very important. The second thing you need to do is just in general, ride more conservatively. Um, your traction on wet roads actually isn't that bad. It, it really isn't. However, it is not as good as dry roads. So you need to take that into account and not try to go crazy leaning into a corner going 10 miles over what you should. Just for reference, I am a commuter. I ride this motorcycle to work every single night. Yes, I said night, I'm third shift, and I ride in all weather. Since we're talking about safety and we're stopped at a light here, um, always make sure that you are right or left in the lane. Right, right now I'm on the right side. You do not want to be in the middle of the light. That's where all the oil, and in the rain, that stuff does get a lot slicker. I'll make any abrupt changes, uh, like that lane change I just did. Nice and easy, checked my mirrors, did my head check, hit my uh, blinker, and then moved over. I'm gonna make a quick stop and then we'll continue this recording. So best practice for how you ride is uh, don't surprise your bike, don't surprise your tires. Take it easier than you normally would, but you don't have to be a slug. Also, stay on the right or left side of the lane to make sure that you're not in the oil. And lastly, don't surprise drivers around you. Don't make quick moves. Don't make sudden stops, uh, sudden lane changes. Make sure you're using your signals. Now, as far as your visor fogging up, I have a pin lock visor insert in my helmet. Um, you may not have one. Though in the rain, most likely without a pin lock visor, uh, your helmet is going to fog up. Um, so uh, for a while there, oh boy, really deep rain here. Oh man. I. <laughs> Okay, uh, the best scenario there would have been, gonna, been to go farther over to the left because uh, there was more clearance, uh, well, it, it, not as deep of a puddle, but there was a car literally right there. And uh, right, like I said, don't surprise, don't surprise other riders, other drivers. Well, don't surprise other riders either. I mean, that's that's not nice. All right, so where was I? Oh yeah, your visor. So your visor's gonna fog up. The way you get around that, you crack it open just a little bit, and as funny as it sounds, you're in the rain, you want everything sealed up. In this instance, for your helmet, visibility is more important than you not getting wet. So if your helmet is fogging up, open up all your vents. This one open, I got all these up here. Whatever vents you have on your helmet, open them. Not that much water is going to get through unless you're in a ridiculous torrential downpour. And, I mean, if you're a new rider, you probably don't want to be a, in a ridiculous torrential downpour. And geese here. Hello. So what about your gear? Um, I am fortunate enough that uh, my first attempt at getting motorcycle gear, my stuff is waterproof. Um, if you do have a bit of a budget, 
uh, I have a, a video about uh, the gear that I wear. And uh, it's mainly about winter, but uh, but it's good for rain too as well. What do you do if you don't want to look like that guy right there? Or you don't have the budget, so how do you stay dry? What do you do? Well, I've got some very, very cheap options uh, and ideas for how to stay dry. I have used these in the past, and uh, they're a bit ridiculous. They're a little redneck, I suppose, but they work extremely well. My boots are not waterproof. So that's a little bit of a problem for me. Um, and usually when I'm going out, I use this trick to fix it. Uh, when you go to put on your gear, you put on your socks and then you take grocery bags, keep in grocery bags, make sure they don't have any holes in them, and then put your feet in your boots. Now, water will still get in your boots, but it will not get your feet wet. You'll have dry socks. And before you think, wow, that's like super, super redneck, let me give you an, let me give you an example of how the motorcycle industry, of how the gear industry does this already. A lot of jackets are very perforated and let a lot of wind through. What do they do to solve that when it comes to rain? They have a layer can put on the inside that is waterproof so the jacket gets soaked that layer keeps you inside the jacket completely dry it's the exact same concept it is very effective i have uh, ridden to work many times in the rain and i have used that trick and i get to work and i change into my work boots and i have completely dry socks now if your pants aren't waterproof i wish i could say i had the perfect trick for that I don't actually know what I would do. I've, I've never ridden with pants that were not waterproof. I do know that there are aerosol sprays that you can get that waterproof clothing. Maybe those would work out. Uh, I have not tried those to so know. Now for your jacket. Let's say you've got a jacket that's perforated like crazy. It lets everything in. It is not waterproof. What do you do? Again, I've got another hack that's a bit a bit cheesy, but it works. And I have used this in the past. Um, <clears throat> not with this jacket, because this jacket is completely waterproof. You take a black trash bag or a white kitchen trash bag, um, depending on, you know, what size you need. <laughs> you cut a hole in the bottom middle, just a little hole, not too big. Uh, and then you cut a hole on, on the sides. You put that sucker on like a shirt. Now, the reason I say to not make the hole too big is because if you do, then uh, water will uh, go down your neck potentially. And uh, yeah, they're just a terrible time. But it's the exact same concept as the um, waterproof liners for the jackets, is you have something waterproof underneath your jacket. Now, if uh, you really don't want your jacket getting wet, I suppose you can just go whole hog, not care what anybody says, and put the trash bag over top of your jacket. I have seen that. Now, as far as gear visibility goes, uh, as you can see, my gear is black. My gear is all black. What do you do if your gear is all dark? Actually, you can take a rule out of the French motorcycle playbook. Um, when you get a helmet... I just recently learned this. When you get a helmet in France, you are also supposed to have reflectors on the helmet. Extra reflectors. So you can use that concept for, well, everything. Found some very inexpensive reflective tape. I will put a link to it in the description. And I have it on my backpack that I use to go to work. And uh, if I want, I can put it just about anywhere else to make sure that I am at night it works very well uh, I've had a couple co-workers tell me they rode behind me and my backpack glowed but that is it for me I love you Nathan out